a big event is kicking off here in Eden Prairie today, designed to bring different cultures and members of the community together. People Fest has been really growing through the years. It starts today, huge party, and runs all the way through Saturday with a long list. Not a short list. I mean, it is a long list of free events. Lots to pick from. Joining me now is Megan Yerkes, Community Service Coordinator with the City of Eden Prairie. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So you've been with this organization team uh, since the start, yes. since you know before the pandemic, 2018. <laughs> things yeah. were you know different. Yeah. Talk to me how it got started. Where did the sure. idea for People Fest patch? Yeah, absolutely. So People Fest is an idea that came from our community. Uh, we had community members that had come together and expressed a desire um, to build a space where they could share their cultural traditions with one another, to get to know one another um, and spend time in community. And so with that idea, um, a group of community organizations, the city, the school district, um, and community members full of passion came together to create this space um, for them to use to share those traditions and that's how it was born yeah and it starts tonight with a, a big a big celebration tonight yeah. which is really the kickoff tell yes. us about that yes so the kickoff event is the people fest party that runs today from three to seven at starring lake park um, we will have performances by different groups local um, and a little bit more well known we'll also have um, four different food trucks there we'll have exhibitors on the plaza um, sharing different hands-on activities um, and we'll have a human library activity that's being facilitated by the human rights and diversity Commission. Wow, and that is just yeah. one event. So yeah. then you go through the week. I mean, and yeah. there's things that that churches are doing. There's things that the school district is doing. I saw there's um, let's there's a history uh, lesson of sorts yeah. that you can kind of <laughs> navigate through the city. Tell yeah. us about that. I thought that was intriguing because I mean, this is the mom and me looking for something to do with the kids <laughs> all week long. Like, oh, you can kind of go on a history scavenger hunt for Absolutely. the city. So one of the things that was born during the pandemic, um, People Fest had to look different mm -hmm. um, during COVID, but it never went away. And so one of the things that we added um, during that time was our People Fest guide. Um, and so now each year we publish a, a booklet that you can get at the event. You can also pick up at City Center um, that has both a cuisine guide inside of it um, that features local restaurants here in Eden Prairie. Um, and it also has the history tour that you mentioned where there's historical sites throughout the city um, that you can bring your guide and visit each of these sites um, and you can learn more about the context in which they exist. And you mentioned the cuisine. Yes. I mean, the food lineup yeah. alone is worth coming out for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is, I mean, everything, I just, yeah. you know, Asia Mall, Indian, I mean, you pick your flavor Absolutely. and what you're craving. And my goodness, you guys, we yeah. have it here in Eden Prairie. We do. And the guide was really created to be a place where residents um, could look and find places they hadn't tried before and gain some familiarity. So it's more comfortable to walk into the door. Um, and so our commissioners hand select those restaurants um, and they add recommendations of dishes that you should try. Um, there's more interactive material on the website that you can learn more about these places um, to encourage our community members um, to branch out and try some more that they may not have been before. Yeah, and picking up that booklet and, I mean, you have to obviously buy your food if you go to a restaurant that's right. going to cost you something, but other than that, everything's free. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we wanted the event to be accessible. We didn't want anyone to feel like they were not able to participate because of cost. Um, and so one of the things that we've really focused on is uh, providing opportunities for community members to be together without asking for a financial commitment. So how many people do you think mm. attend these days? I mean, it obviously must have changed right. since you're first year 2018. It has. But how, how many people tonight and how many people do you think participate through the week? Sure. So p the party is by large, uh, by far our biggest event. Yeah. Um, last year we hit a thousand for the first time um, at the People Fest party itself um, and we're looking forward to hopefully passing that today. Um, and then the other events depend on, on what the structure of them is. Some of our um, other concert series events are larger um, while our community ed classes are designed to be more intimate setting. Yeah. Very, very cool. What's your favorite part? My favorite part. My favorite part is the Human Library. Um, yeah. That's a, a project that's near and dear to my heart. Um, it's an opportunity. We have community volunteers that come um, and volunteer to share a story. Um, and so last year we had a gentleman that came to share um, Egyptian folklore um, with community members. And you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations um, with these people and hear stories that you wouldn't hear, um, but that exist here in our community. All right, Megan, have a wonderful time. Yeah. We're glad the weather is cooperating for Me this too. event. So <laughs> go to the website, Eden Prairie. Dot org dot org slash backslash people, people fest. Yes. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get the link on our website as well. Thank you. Yeah. Have a wonderful time. Thank Sounds you. Sounds like a lot of fun.